Bienvenidos estudiantes del programa de doble titulación con Walden University. Hoy quiero hablarles acerca del programa de doble titulación. En Laureate International Universities estamos seguros de que ustedes como estudiantes que se están formando para el futuro necesitan dos habilidades. Una, el uso del idioma inglés para hacer negocios. La segunda, tiene que ver con el uso de internet para la educación en donde ustedes desarrollarán habilidades de trabajo colaborativo a distancia y de comunicación electrónica a distancia también, que son habilidades que ustedes necesitarán para su desempeño profesional en el futuro. El programa de doble titulación consiste en una serie de cursos directamente entregados por Walden University a cada uno de ustedes, independientemente de la licenciatura que estén cursando en su universidad. Estos cursos les permiten a ustedes tener una idea de cómo hacer negocios internacionales. Al final de la licenciatura, ustedes podrán tener en sus manos un plan de negocios, lo que muestra la habilidad que ustedes tienen para escribir, para idear, para elaborar negocios a nivel internacional y les permite a los empleadores saber si ustedes cuentan con las capacidades necesarias para trabajar con ellos en sus empresas multinacionales, transnacionales, que están ubicadas dentro de los territorios donde están sus casas matrices o en cualquiera de sus sucursales, en cualquiera de las naciones en donde ustedes seguramente habitan. Entonces, el programa de doble titulación les va a permitir tener contacto con otros estudiantes de otras nacionalidades, tener contacto con otros campus, tener contacto con profesores de Walden University en Estados Unidos y en el resto del mundo, quienes tienen grados de doctorado, esto los garantiza un alto nivel académico, una experiencia infinita en cuanto a lo que ellos han vivido en sus negocios, en sus empresas. De esta manera, Lorid International Universities, en su estrategia de internacionalización, busca y pretende que ustedes cuenten con estas herramientas. Les invito a que conozcan más acerca del programa de doble titulación, conozcan ustedes los detalles y los beneficios que esta universidad otorga a través de Laureate International University. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to welcome you to the Walden Dual Degree Program. I'm really thrilled to have a chance to meet you and to have a chance to talk about the program and perhaps answer some of your questions. I know that you've been learning about uh, the program at your home campuses, but I thought it'd be really nice to have a chance to do a face-to-face -face and talk directly uh, about the program. And I was thinking about uh, some questions that I'd like to ask you about the program and what you might have heard, and then uh, if you have some questions for me as a result of that, we can talk about those things. Um, one of the things I wanted to know is um, why, why did you join the dual degree program? Uh, I'm uh, Ademir Arzate Martinez from UVM, from Mexico City. And I think that I'm joining this uh, dual degree because it's an easy way to, to have uh, two degrees. Mm -hmm. And um, because I'm studying uh, international trade oh, and uh, I'm interested in the, how the, the globalization mm -hmm. is uh, moving the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that it's a good uh, opportunity to have uh, this degree, and uh, it's a good, uh, I don't know, maybe I can have a, a good job with this, no? Don't mm -hmm. you think? We're going to have a you. good job, mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> good. We hope that. I don't know. And I'm, I'm also interested to know what you expect to learn out of in the dual degree program. Well, Kathy, I think I can answer to that. And could you tell, tell us your name? Tell sure. me who you uh, are and where you're My name is from. Daniel, and I study in Mexico City too, and mm -hmm. UVM. And I expect to learn from this course um, a variety of subjects, such as uh, global business. I think that's a very important tool for our careers, mm -hmm. since, uh, well, it's in this age that is very, uh, globalization is very important. And we need to learn how mm -hmm. the markets and the business is working in, in every country, or at mm -hmm. least we can learn that from Walden. Mm -hmm. and and to how to apply it to our careers. Um, the, this subject is uh, very interesting and I think it can help us uh, to reach mm -hmm. our goals and 
to get a better job than mm -hmm. we think. And with a dual degree program, I think uh, we have our uh, certificate from Mexico and we have our certificate from the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, well, that can help us to improve mm -hmm. our uh, life. And, mm -hmm. and two of you now have mentioned uh, careers. And so I'm, I'm interested as well, um, how do you think or do you think that having the dual degree will help you in your future careers? Well, I can answer that. Well, and you uh, are? I'm, I'm Maria Jose Muriel. I'm from the UVM of Saltillo. I'm studying the dual degree program. I'm studying international relations. And for example, in my opinion that I'm studying international relations is really good because uh, I will have two uh, degrees, like the, the one from Mexico mm -hmm. and the one from the United States, and that will help me a lot because I can find a job in Mexico, and if I want to have a job in the United States, that, that will help me a lot. And also, if you want to uh, find a job, you can go to any enterprise or a company, mm -hmm. and they will see you, your curriculum, and they will see, okay, the, between two people, Okay, you're from uh, Walden University and you have with UVM, so I will choose you because you have two degrees instead of one. Mm -hmm. So it's an advantage for us, mm -hmm. for all the people that are studying uh, Walden, and I think it's like, I like it. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. And so it sounds like uh, you really have heard a lot about the degree and have thought a lot about how it might provide opportunities for you in the future. And um, I, I guess I'm also wondering, you know, if a friend of yours came by and said, should I join the Walden dual degree program, what, what would you tell them? That will be my answer, of course. And you are? <laughs> yes, I am Edgar Villalobos. I'm from Mexico City. Uh, I study with uh, Ademir in the UVM. And in fact, I'm studying marketing. They haven't, well, well she said, and but the four, of, uh, the four of us are studying uh, different uh, careers, mm -hmm. but that's uh, an advantage. It, it, um, it has this advantage that uh, it doesn't matter which career you are studying. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'll, I, I will tell my, my pal that uh, to take the opportunity because like all my partner said, uh, it's a great opportunity to improve uh, mm -hmm. a lot of things like knowledge, like opportunities, like your own private life. Because it's, uh, uh, studying uh, two degrees at, this, uh, at the same time without uh, spending too much time at, as it will be uh, studying it in two universities, mm -hmm. it's a really, really, really great opportunity, I think. And I don't know them, but uh, at least I am very happy with the with the program. Mm -hmm. And also, we practice English. That's another advantage because mm -hmm. right now we are practicing practicing the English, uh, and we are Mexicans. So that that's a bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will be Good. the answer will mm -hmm. be yes. <laughs> I know that um, the dual degree program is offered online. And I know that online learning is um, new to you. And um, I'm wondering, um, as you've started your first courses and you're getting used to the online environment, what do you think about um, learning online versus learning in the classroom? Uh, it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult. For the first time, I don't know. It's, it's easy because you don't have a mm -hmm. teacher in front of you and you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but when you have so, some doubts, mm -hmm. it's difficult to uh, enter the doubt mm -hmm. and you have to wait to, to the mm -hmm. teacher answer mm -hmm. that. What I like is that you have your own time. It's just mm -hmm. like when you go to the real classes, mm -hmm. you have to be on time exactly yeah. because if you're late, two seconds or something like mm -hmm. you are, you're out and we online learning is that you arrive at home whenever you want you can get in whenever you want at mm -hmm. least you have to be online like one hour per per day it's a it's mm -hmm. a good enough time to do mm -hmm. uh, your homework something but you can do your schedule mm -hmm. and see okay I have free time here so I can log in here and do whatever I want to do online mm -hmm. and I think it's a good advantage of beyond online mm -hmm. learning mm -hmm. and it's and the person for uh, to all the people that are shy 
it's good because <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you don't like a lot of people they don't want to stand up or raise their hands because they shy yeah. and being in online learning most of the time you like you're free to say what you want mm -hmm. like doesn't mm -hmm. matter nobody knows me so mm -hmm. I will send things and mm -hmm. that's the thing that you learn a lot because people mm -hmm. is sending back to you mm -hmm. or answer you and what I like the most is like it's like a diary for me because keeps oh, really? everything the information mm -hmm. from the beginning to the, till the end mm -hmm. so at the beginning you learn something and then you can add more knowledge to the mm -hmm. to your life and then at the end of the 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 course you can see everything that you learn mm -hmm. and in the when you're going in the real classes probably you forgot what you learned the last the mm -hmm. last course and it's like oh i have to ask somebody or mm -hmm. see the notebooks or something in online learning you have everything and mm -hmm. that's a good mm -hmm. good thing mm -hmm. The very first course that you took is called Success Strategies in the Online in Environment. And we designed that course for you as a foundation, as a way to get you prepared for being an online learner. And one of the things that's different about online learning is it really is, um, takes more responsibility on the, on the part of the student uh, to do the work, to do the work on time. Um, and also, if you're having questions or issues, to be able to feel free to uh, you know, talk to your instructor by email or um, you know, in the classroom on the question board to get the help that you need. We also tried to provide you with information about Walden resources that are available to you throughout, um, throughout the program. So you'll have access to our online library and to some of the research um, that we have access to as you're working on different papers uh, throughout, throughout the program. And um, I'm curious about what you thought about that class and if you felt that it prepared you for the online environment. Mm, yeah, I, I think that uh, one of the advantages that uh, the online uh, studying brings is that you have all the all the writing thing. You you have you have it in the in the mm -hmm. web. You just have to to turn off your computer. And see all, uh, and see the the stuff, the the knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's all well organized. It's all clear. Mm -hmm. You have all the assistance you need because mm -hmm. you always have a an instructor in the in the other side of the planet. I don't know, but mm -hmm. it's it's very quickly. You mm -hmm. you ask a question, and in five minutes you have an answer. So mm -hmm. it's like having an an, an instructor in, in in your house mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you can be studying in your in your bedroom. Even in the bathroom, <laughs> you can be sitting in the bathroom, <laughs> okay. and, and only you can you ask maybe. a question, and he will <laughs> uh, and he will <laughs> answer the question. So it's very mm -hmm. mm, comfortable mm -hmm. to know that there is mm -hmm. always a person that will mm -hmm. help help you to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. One of the other things we've tried to do is to structure the courses so that you know what to expect, so that each course um, has is, is set up very similar in that you'll have learning modules and usually those are arranged on a week-to-week -week basis. You'll be able to find the class syllabus and know what your assignments are and your activities and the things that need to be done um, you know, at a certain time. And um, you mentioned easy to use, easy to navigate. Um, did you feel that you know what to expect in the next classes after completing the foundations course? Yes, Kathy. I think it, uh this uh, website was very convenient for, for our mm -hmm. students that we, ha we don't have much time when we are studying or having tests or for busy people that are not studying anymore at school but mm -hmm. they have job and they can also take this uh, Walden mm -hmm. course. Uh, I, in my Personally, I think it was a very pleasant uh, experience because mm -hmm. I, all the feedback that I got from my instructor was uh, excellent. She was every day uh, checking my work. Mm -hmm. She was um, every day explaining what's, what's going on, what we're going to do next mm -hmm. week, and every day if you have anything you have to correct, mm -hmm. uh, your instructor will always tell you. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can always work at your own pace, and I think that's very convenient and easy to use because mm -hmm. you get to see the uh, class syllabus, and you know what to do for next day. They say from day one you have to do this, and like day two, and so you mm -hmm. know what you're doing. And the the program is overall is uh, great, I mm -hmm. think. 
uh, it's well structured and it's very easy to use. I, I mean, everyone can use it. You don't need that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think, yeah, it's great. If you already speak English, uh, you get to know the more technical words and yeah, you get improving and <coughs> your English level is get, just getting mm -hmm. better and better, I think. Mm -hmm. the, um, the second course in the program is called Management in the 21st Century. And that course is designed to give you a foundation in management principles, concepts, and theories. And that course will prepare you for the other courses that will come in the program that are management related, global business related. You'll have courses in trade and finance. But um, that first course gives you the basics to prepare you for the rest of the courses. One of the other courses in the program that I think you'll find very interesting is Information Systems in Enterprise. And that course uh, talks about what we, what we focus on and what we emphasize in that course is um, using information systems and how to manage information in, in the global environment as a way to solve business problems. Um, I'm, I'm also interested, one of the things I'd like to know is um, what are you looking forward to as the program goes on? Well, um, the thing is I want to learn more. It's mm -hmm. just like the more you know, the more you value. It's mm -hmm. like it's a rule. You have mm -hmm. to learn more every day because mm -hmm. you can see it. My, for example, I have a brother. My brother is 17, and right now she's, uh, he's just, uh, learning Japanese and he already knows English. So it's just like the, the world is moving so fast. Like people is learning a lot of things and for example, I can say, okay, I speak English. But then the other one that is back of me, okay, I speak French, I speak Japanese, I speak this, I speak. So, so if I learn this, the other one is getting better mm -hmm. and better. So being dual degree is just like having an extra thing to mm -hmm. go and out, out there and ask mm -hmm. for something and we just have to keep learning and learning mm -hmm. and what I expect is just to learn more and have that, uh, kept, kept the, the knowledge mm -hmm. and apply it to the real life just, mm -hmm. just not just to keep it just to mm -hmm. have experience and apply it to real life and mm -hmm. And I think it's what I expect. Mm -hmm. I apply my knowledge to real life. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's important to understand about the dual degree program is that when you're done, you do in fact get two degrees. And you get the, the degree from your home university. And um, usually that's in a specific career. You mentioned marketing, you know, international, different uh, career, you call them careers or specializations. But at the same time, while you're taking all of your courses at your campus in your home area, you're taking a, a, a number of Walden courses, and that leads to a full Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree. So I think there's um, you know, an advantage of that in that you don't have to spend extra time in college, but you're, you're getting uh, two degrees. And um, one of the things um, I'm also interested in, what are some of your career aspirations, and what do you hope to do with the degree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, I'm hoping to get into an um, um, international company and get some experience and maybe use my English skills that I'm going to learn and all the um, things I'm going to learn also from uh, mm -hmm. Walden. I think it's a great tool. And after that, I want to. Um, my aspiration is also to get and to build a, a company for my, my own company. Mm -hmm. um, I think and that's very important for me and for my family and also for uh, Mexico. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to show that internationally that Mexico people is getting ready to do more things like we're showing now. And also Latin people, everyone is just improving now. I mean, this mm -hmm. era of um, globalization is very important. Mm -hmm. And like she's, uh, like my friend said, uh, we are all uh, starting to uh, see things differently f like before. Mm -hmm. And people travel, people work outside their own countries. It's all uh, very important. Um, we're trying to get better uh, in our lives. We're studying more and extra. This mm -hmm. is just bonus. And uh, we have to 
apply all this to our personal life and show our also our fellow students, mm -hmm. our, our friends, that uh, there is a tool that is called Walden, and we can use it and also invite other people to, to use mm -hmm. it with us and just uh, grow uh, with this community, I think. Mm -hmm. Great. I want to thank you all for your time and for your thoughts about the dual degree program. It was wonderful to meet you, and I wish you tremendous success. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. The focus of this presentation is plagiarism and academic integrity, two critical aspects to the entire endeavor of scholarly writing, and two aspects of scholarship that Walden takes very, very seriously. I want to start by emphasizing that I don't mean this presentation to scare you. Personally, I prefer to look at these topics from a positive standpoint. I'm going to start by repeating my basic premise about scholarly writing. As always, I think you should come back to your purpose as a student and as a writer. You have an opportunity here, an opportunity to show that you know what you're talking about and that it's true. As we'll see, plagiarism demonstrates the opposite and it diminishes from not just your work, but from your university's reputation. By the end of this presentation, you'll be able to recognize the importance of academic integrity, define plagiarism in general terms, recognize examples of plagiarism, identify ways to avoid plagiarism, and you'll be able to demonstrate that you know how to use direct quotes. Every day we have some decisions to make that puts our integrity to a test. Some are big and some are little decisions. Well, I'm not here to tell you the right thing to do. There's some areas in your life, though, where you don't have a choice, and academic integrity is one of them. Why does academic integrity matter? First, distinguishing the sources of your information con contributes to your authority as a scholarly writer. That is, you need to show you know what you're talking about, and that's true. Accurately showing what the sources are of your information helps contribute to your authority. Second, adhering to the rules of the academy secures Walden University's place within the community of scholarship. I'm sure you want Walden to be seen as an institution with integrity. By the same token, your writing and your research must be done with integrity. Third, demonstrating the integrity of scientific inquiry demands that scholars abide by the foundational principles that underlie the search for knowledge. Scholarship needs to be done with integrity and perceived with integrity by the entire scientific community. Walden is a member of the Center for Academic Integrity. It's a national body that adheres to five fundamental values. Honesty, trust, fairness, respect, and responsibility. One important aspect of integrity is plagiarism, or more specifically, avoiding it. Nationally, plagiarism is a growing problem as documented by the Center for Academic Integrity. Now, I don't know that Walden has more or fewer instances than elsewhere, but I can tell you that Walden takes plagiarism as seriously as any college in the land. All Walden students are expected to adhere to the Walden University Code of Conduct, which you can find in the Walden Catalog. The Walden University Code of Conduct defines plagiarism as the use of intellectual material produced by another person without acknowledging its source. For example, wholesale copying of passages from works of others into an assignment, paper, discussion board posting, or thesis or dissertation without acknowledgement, using the views, opinions, or insights of another without acknowledgement, and paraphrasing another person's characteristic or original phraseology, metaphor, or other literary device without acknowledgement. There are some other definitions of plagiarism. A good one comes from Booth, Colum, and Williams, who wrote, 
you plagiarize even when you do credit the author but use his or her exact words without so indicating with quotation marks or block indentation. You also plagiarize when you use words so close to those in your source that if your work were placed next to the source, it would be obvious that you could not have written what you did without the source at your elbow. Let's look at an example. Compare the original on the left with the student's version on the right. Is this plagiarism? Well, as you can see, a few words were changed here and there, and a source is cited. But the student couldn't have written her version without the original at her elbow. Furthermore, did the student read Cross and Madsen? No. This is an example of plagiarism. In that example, did the student demonstrate scholarly writing? Did the student demonstrate original thinking? Can the audience be confident that the student knew what he or she was writing about? Does the writing reflect academic integrity? And how does the caliber of the writing reflect on the integrity of the institution? Remember, simply changing a word here and there is not enough even if you cite your source. You'll gain more and more experience using APA style as you go through your courses. Now, I'm not going to go through a long discussion of particulars, but there are a few things worth mentioning right now. First, use direct quotes only sparingly. When an author says something just right or when you want to reveal something about the author, always cite the page number or paragraph number of a direct quote. In APA style, use author date citations. Consult the APA manual in Chapter 4 or apastyle.org for citing electronic sources. And there's a lot of information about APA style at the Walden Writing Center in the APA Asylum. I'm always surprised that students spend so much time trying to reword an original text or sweating over quotation marks. I think a better approach is to think about what you're reading. Your reader isn't interested in your ability to regurgitate original text. Your task is to critically analyze the material that you've written. Create a new package that reflects your understanding of a topic and your knowledge. Scholarly writers do not create a word-for-word -word copy or a thesaurus-like translation for their writing. They cite their sources carefully. They're certain that the reader knows who wrote what. And the bottom line is they think critically about the purpose of what they read and what they write. So remember, the value of your degree and your learning experience rests on Walden University's commitment to academic integrity and your own. <laughs>